Hello and welcome to Math Meets Tech. I'm Andrew Capretto and this is our series on teaching with iPads. We're going to be diving deeper into the Notability app and we're going to be talking about favorite tools and presentation. Stay tuned. Okay, let's talk about two of my favorite things inside of Notability. Favorite tools and presentation mode. So, if I'm going ahead and I'm writing up a document, and maybe I'm saying uh, 3x squared plus 2 equals uh, 11. Great. All of you are like, oh no, more math. I, in the next step, often like to change colors to show my students the progress uh, as I'm working. So I might change to red and go minus 2 and minus 2. And OK, and now I have 3x squared equals 9. Great. And I can do that. But I find that I'm always using the same pen and highlighters all the time. And I like to jump back and forth in those really quickly. So I'm going to go back to this blue I had and while I have it selected as blue I could change the pen width, maybe I want it a little thinner. Um, I could change if it wanted to be dotted or anything like that. I could pick all kinds of colors that aren't normal colors so that they're a little bit harder to you know find quickly. And up in this top corner I can hit the star with a plus. And if I tap that it adds it over here to this little sidebar menu. And I can go ahead and pick another couple of colors. Maybe I'm going to use red a lot add that over there. Ooh, very nice. And I like to use a, a dark green. So I'm going to add that over. And I actually even sometimes use uh, purple here. So I'll add that. So I've got a couple of my favorite pens. I can come over here to the highlighter as well. Um, I like the highlighter colors I can see well. So yellow works well. Orange. I do like the green highlighter. Great. And now I can quickly just jump between all of these tools as I'm working. So maybe I want to go to the next step and I'm going to divide both sides by 3. x squared equals 3. Great. And then maybe I'm like, oh, did you guys see how I divided both sides? I can use the highlighter there and here was my step. Now look, I actually have the pen on that tool, so that's, that's the wrong thing. And that's actually going to be a good thing to talk about. How do you get rid of a favorite? So if you uh, tap on it, it brings it up. And you can see in the top corner is a star to get rid of it. I actually meant to do the highlighter that is green. And I'm going to add that as the thing I wanted. And now I can highlight my steps each time. This is great. And if you want to, you can move it to other places. So you can put it over here. You can put it at the bottom. Um, if you get annoyed by it and you went out of your way, you can hit the X. And it goes down here to this little star on the bottom left-hand corner. And I can bring it back up. Having these at your disposal is amazing. And it helps me just quickly jump back and forth between um, all the tools I like to use. And it also saves me time if I'm always changing the pen thickness size every time I go up here. These are always already saved as the, the thickness that I want them to be. So another great thing is if I'm presenting this to a class, I'm going to drag from the top right hand corner. We did this in another video. And I'm going to screen mirror. This is my projector. OK, I had to actually switch over to another camera so I could demonstrate this properly. Um, so I was saying this in another video, and I did show Air playing in a different video. We're going to swipe from, from the top right hand corner where the battery icon is. And you can see, in my case, I have the two uh, rectangles flashing there. And I can click and select to mirror to the Apple TV device that I want. So I've mirrored to um, my Apple TV. Up in this corner, you'll now see this little TV looking icon. And that icon uh, can show me both presentation mode or screen mode, so we can mirror in two different ways. I'm going to keep it on presentation mode and show you what the difference is between this screen, which is what I'm seeing on my iPad, and if I pan over, here is what the students are seeing. Hopefully you notice that there are a lack of all the tools and controls, and the students don't really need to see that, and they're not going to see that. Those things are hidden from them. They're just seeing the inside of the note, which is what I want them focusing on. I don't need them focusing on the tools. Back over here again, excuse my messy desk, you can see I still have my favorite tools. I still have all my tools at the top. Those are there for me. I am mirroring in presentation mode. So if I tap that little uh, monitor again and switch to screen mode, I'll pan back over here. And now you can see they could see all of those uh, tools available to me. Usually I don't leave that as the option. There's just no need for it. This is a really nice feature. So I keep it back in presentation mode. Now, another thing that's really helpful about presentation mode is maybe I want to switch notes. I want to go to a different uh, place in my Notability app. When I switch back here to look at all my other notes, look, up on the projector screen, they just get a blue screen with the Notability icon there. So they don't see all of the stuff behind the scenes. Maybe I want them to you know, keep, keep them, you know, certain notes private or away from them. So then I go back into a note. 
And so that's favorite tools and presentation mode. Great tools to teaching with an iPad in your classroom.